Today we are making pepper pickles. Pepper pickles are a German recipe I found in one of my old cookbooks from around 1900. And here are the ingredients. We need small pickling cucumbers, about the size of a finger, is what the recipe tells me. I already brushed them and I'm taking off about an eighth of an inch on the top. You always want to do this with any whole pickling cucumber you're using because the flower bud on the tip of the cucumber contains an enzyme that makes cucumbers mushy. The other ingredients are, of course, peppercorns, tarragon, some bay leaves, allspice, and instead of what the recipe tells me, I have a bunch of pearl onions, which I always like in pickles. First things first, we need to get these pearl onions uh, peeled, and that's a pain in you know where. So the trick to this is pour hot water over them and let them sit for a few minutes. That will loosen the outer skin and you can just push them out of their skin. Let's move these aside. Once you got the pearl onions going, the next step is to prepare your brine. So this is one liter or one quart of water and one liter of vinegar. I'm using half apple cider vinegar, half distilled vinegar, but feel free to use whatever vinegar you like, except the balsamic ones, they're too sweet. Into this brine, we are putting 120 grams of salt. That's roughly two ounces per quart. The next ingredient into this brine is half the amount of sugar from the salt. So in this case, two ounces of sugar. All right, let me put this on the stove. and bring that to a boil. In the meantime, here are cleaned jars. You need one teaspoon of black peppercorns in each of those jars. I know that's a lot of pepper, but they're called pepper pickles. Two or three allspice berries. I'm using three. The original recipe calls for as many allspice berries as there are peppercorns. So a teaspoon of peppercorns is about 50 of them. I'm not going to do that because I'm not that big a fan of allspice and essentially you will not taste anything but allspice. And then of course we need some tarragon. Just one little sprig will do. Here's a baking sheet. Prevents messes. I'm going to put a kitchen towel into this just so that the jars don't slide around. So this is prepped. What we need to do, let me put this aside. What we need to do now, and I should have done before, is peeling these pearl onions. You see, you, you open them up at the bottom and then you just squeeze them out. And here are our peeled pearl onions. Now we can proceed with the whole thing. My brine has just come up to a boil. I put like three or four of those pearl onions into the jars. Now add your cucumbers, stack them in real nice so that you fit as many as you can possibly fit into the jar. This is a little bit of a puzzle game. These wide mouth jars are considerably better suited than the regular mouth jars, but I only had like two left because the wide mouth jars are much easier to stack. Fill the brine all the way to the rim, boiling. See, a little bit of overflow is perfectly good. You want this jar as full as possible. Once you have them filled up to the rim with your brine, you simply go ahead and pop on the lids. You turn them upside down and let them sit till they're cold. This is it for the pepper pickles. They will keep for about six months uh, and you need to refrigerate them once you open them. Let them sit for a week or two before you eat them. And if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.